stuff. Um, but on behalf of Elliot Joel and my wife Judy, thank you all for being here. The wedding of these two amazing people. Um, there's three, actually four people I want to focus on. And the first two go hand in hand for today. And that's my wife Judy and my daughter Mary. Um, behind the scenes of this wedding, in addition to all the creativity that Ben and Kate put into this wedding, my daughter Maren was like the world's finest stage manager, which someday she's going to grow up to be professionally. <laughs> and one of the nicest things for Judy and I in our lives is we had two children ten years apart. And um, there was a reason for that. Because we had Kate first. <laughs> so, you know, I discussed having another child, but there just weren't more than 24 hours in the day. So we waited a long time. So as a result, you know, when Kate was 12, Mary was 2. When Kate was 15, Mary was 5. And they didn't really have much in common. Somewhere around the age of 12, 13, I guess. And for reasons we never entirely understood except that I do now. Uh, they became best friends, which is weird for siblings sometimes to, to be for each other. When they're close in age, when they're 10 years apart, it's rarer still. And it's been one of the, the most wonderful things for Judy and I to bear witness to. And that leads me to the second person, is Judy. The reason these two girls are the way they are has a little bit to do with me in terms of bizarreness. <laughs> but everything to do with Judy in terms of their being wonderful, kind, generous, and loving. As regards, as regards Katie, um, this, could, this could take a while. Uh, but I, I, I thought to myself, I, I, I have a tradition of telling stories about my daughters to my students. And I've been doing that for years. Because, because there's not many children who are... My students assume, because of my somewhat ribald language, that my daughters would speak with the patois of a seaman. <laughs> and one night when my class was over at my house, I, I kept telling my, my, my lads, that, no, my daughter does not swear. She does not swear. And they got to be kidding. No way. How could she not swear? She's your daughter. And, and during a break in the class, Kate came out because there were a lot of boys there. <laughs> she, was like, she was like 15. And I said, Kate, will you swear? She goes, no. I said, will you say the F word? No. I said, all right, I put $10 on the table. Can we just say it for $10? She said, no. And the guys in the class found this fascinating. They started putting money down. <laughs> we have like $60, $70 in cash on the table. And then suddenly Marin, who was five, appeared and said, I'll say fuck you. <laughs> Think about it. Think about it. Imagine yourself getting out of 
on the phone. <laughs> I'm actually leaving your driver's door open. Okay, maybe that. Leaving the engine on? <laughs> Thank you. 